Okay, we have one last harvest math quest. And I'm ready to just jump into it because I do believe it is a very long instance. Is Dynadas. There he is. So we're gonna get this torch. And I guess we're going on foot. But we're go. I believe we want to do the west side, is what it says. What if I... There we go. It said, it says west. I guess it meant east. Oh. Alright, let's go. I don't like whatever that is breathing. No, I heard that. Hated it too, Dynadus, don't worry. Is it Dynadus or Dinadus? Because Bingo called him a nickname earlier, and it could have been Dino or Dino. I'm not sure. Yep. Nobody's here, but we can get in through here, which is creepy, because why would everything else be locked but not the cellar door? I agree with that noise. I concur. Oh, well, that doesn't seem right right there. That's a whole cat. Am I supposed to be afraid of the cat? I don't like that that door looks like this one. This is weird that it goes into- oh, I thought that was forest. It makes a little bit more sense that it's rock face. Don't like that. Is there another one here? Oh, I don't know. I just charged on forward. Oh. Yeah, don't like this place. I believe these stairs are a wee bit either endless or just long. Oh. I'm glad it's daylight when I'm doing this. It was a little less scary when I had like Twitch chat to interact with. Oh no. Oh no. I remember this part. No more torches and that doesn't look good. I 
don't think he should still look like that after all this time. Shouldn't he, like, be a full-on skeleton? Oop. It's the specter from earlier. I don't like the way he's looking at me. Not the giggling. What was he just doing? All the boffins are here as reinforcements. Try to get a bird's eye view. So we talked about the whole story of Ivy and House, and Cleary, House and Cleary and how the winter separated them from being able to visit with each other and especially Halson's neighbors didn't like him so he was all alone on Cleary Acres. Um, it's, the postman said that it was like 300 years ago, so it's a little weird that his body's fine, but this is not the ghost of House and Cleary. He's sort of like... Um, not exactly a Barrow White or a Barrow Spirit, but he's, he's a, he's a dark spirit. And he's saying that he's here to, like, avenge the wrongdoings that the neighbors did on Halson by not helping him and not liking him. But... Bingo is smart. I liked this part, too. Bingo brought all the letters. And all of the boffins are going to read Ivy's letters. Not necessarily to House and Cleary, because he is no longer with us. But it has a certain effect on the skulking ire. It kind of almost weakens his hold on this place. I want to look more into that long winter too and know if I want to know if it's if it's real in Middle Earth or if it's just for Latro. Ooh, Bingo's gonna confront him face to face. And he's also calling him out. He's not letting him trick us anymore. So the Skulking Ire claims that House and Cleary's rage at his neighbors hating him was what brought the Skulking Ire to Cleary Acres. But that's not 
exactly how it works with spirits in Middle Earth. He was not like some sort of great Avenger that came and was like, oh, I'm going to come help House and Cleary because his neighbors hate him. Or I'm, he's brought me here. The skulking ire came from somewhere else. And as Bingo is saying, he was the cause of Halson's neighbors not liking him. So rather than him being a response to... Sorry, this is about to make a joke. He called him the skulking liar. Love that. <laughs> um, rather than the skulking liar being drawn here. Oh, it changed its. I just noticed it changed his name to the skulking liar. I love that. Rather than the skulking liar coming to Cleary's acres because House and Cleary was angry. The Skulking Iyer came to Cleary's acres of his own accord and sowed that dissent with House and's neighbors because everything was kind of becoming a little more creepy and everything was becoming a little uneasy for them. And it wasn't that they didn't like House and it was that they had this uneasy feeling that they got on his property and around his property and the only person they could knowingly attribute it to was Halson. But it wasn't actually his fault. And I think that essentially by preserving Halson's memory properly... I think we can banish the skulking liar. And he will trouble us no longer. Or we can just tell him to leave is apparently how it came. That's apparently how it went down. We just say, get out. And he was like, dang, okay. I kind of like that storyline. I should like pay attention to the storylines more in Latro. I think I would enjoy them. I enjoyed this one. Yep, yeah, got 24 festival tokens. Let's go see what I can get for them just before I end for the day. And I think probably for the season. I think if I've timed this correctly, this might be the last Harvest Math episode of this year. Although, I may do some Harvest Math on my stream on Halloween to try to get the last bit of stuff I couldn't. So I have 39. I'm going to get these. There is a part of me that wants... Oh, no, I don't think I do want to get that. I think I looked at it online and I don't. But I would like to look at the fall festival speeds. I just would like to compare. I do think I might save for some steeds, maybe not this year, but maybe next year. I like this, I, I like this, um, Autumn Traveler Elk, or a deer, rather, and I like this Autumn Sage, um, horse, and I might even like this elk, too, but we'll see. I do think the last bit that I'm really, really gonna save for is I want this Autumn Traveler stuff for my main because everybody else has an outfit 
But I think for now, I'm going to pop back to the party tree just in case I don't log into this character again. I'd like to end up somewhere familiar so I know how to get to the quest that I'm going to have next. But other than that, thank you for watching and have a great day.